Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Every week I comb through hundreds of DIY videos preparing projects for our weekly maker show, Maker Break. Along the way, I find some good ones and some great ones, and right now, I'm gonna share them with you. This is Sarah's top five DIY shop carts. Number five is Mr. Fix-It DIY. Okay, so this is technically more of a mobile workbench. Technically, it's not a cart, but if you use these plans, you can make it a little bit smaller and add some shelves, and it would be perfect. Don't come for me. For only $75 of plywood, two by fours, four by fours, and heavy duty casters, I'm calling it a cart. Aaron used the four by fours for the legs, cutting them to size at the miter saw. Then he used the two by fours as a frame that go around the top of the legs and the bottom, also as crossbars to add stability. Next, drill the plywood top into place, cut off the excess, and then use that to cut out the space for the legs on the bottom shelf and attach that piece to the bottom. Next, he added casters to make it mobile, then did the strength test, and this was done. Number four is John Malecki. Not too long ago, John moved into a much larger shop than he had ever had before and needed to move stuff around a lot more than he was used to. So he decided that a couple shop carts could come in really handy. He decided to take a couple sheets of plywood and make a set of shop carts. Starting at the table saw, he cut down the plywood into all of the pieces that he would need, then went against his normal process and used pocket holes to put the frames for the cart together. If you use them properly, he doesn't get mad about it. He used his CNC machine to customize the carts, but this is not a step that you need to take. He cut the dowel rods for the handles and used his drill press to make the holes for the handles to go into place. Using glue and pocket hole joinery, he assembled all of the pieces together and added the casters to the bottom to make them easy to move around the shop. Number three is homemade modern. Ben's approach to making a shop cart was basically seeing how many tools and quick grab items he could possibly fit into one little cart using two by fours and plywood. I would say he did a great job because he pretty much made a mini mobile shop with everything he could fit on here. He used a board and clamps as a straight edge to cut down all of the pieces he would need. So if you don't have a table saw for this type of build, this is how he would recommend doing it. He built the side supports first, then added shelves and the side storage. Once those module pieces were finished, he put them all together, added the top and the casters. Then, one tool at a time, he slowly customized every nook and cranny of the cart for all of his quick grab items he uses most often. And finally, he added a piece of melamine for the top, and this was done. Number two is make something. David had a couple complaints about his shop, and as it turns out, he could resolve all of them by building a shop cart, slash storage unit, slash outfit table, slash stand, well, basically, slash DIY awesomeness. He started his project by declaring he had no plans and was going to wing it, which gave me some serious anxiety. But then again, I'm not David, so he can make cool stuff without days and days of planning first. He cut down some plywood, used pocket holes for the legs, and added the side panels, then the support bars at the top and bottom. Next, he added casters. Then he went on to make the drawers. Once they were built, he installed the slides and added the drawers and drawer faces to the cart. David added the top, added the bar to hold craft paper, dowels to hold sanding discs, and drawers on both sides for tons and tons of storage. For not having plans, this turned out amazing. Number one is Timothy Wilmot. I don't think you're actually ready for this. I know I wasn't. I stumbled upon this video. Yeah, the cart that Timothy took three years to engineer looks unique and definitely caught my eye, but I had no idea the magical functionality of this magnitude even existed. This is the MFSC, or Multifunctional Shop Cart. Now I'm just going to skim over all six of its functions and then go let you drool for yourself when you're done watching this video. Number one, it's a wheel cart complete with a handle to help easily guide it through your shop. Number two, it's an adjustable work table with brakes to guarantee it won't move while you're using it. Plus, it's insanely strong. Number three, it's a standard workbench. Number four, flip that top over and you have a perfect place for glue ups that hold your clamps upright for ease of use. Number five, rotate and lock the tabletop and it's now a panel cart with a non-slip base so materials don't go sliding off and assaulting your shins. And finally, number six, it's a drying rack. I have no words. 
Oh, did I mention that he has the plans available to purchase so you can make one of your own? Yeah, I don't know why you're still watching me, actually. You should be buying his plans and preparing to make your own. Well done, Timothy. Well done. All right, that's it. I hope you guys liked my list, but of course, if you found a project you think should have made it onto my list, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. If you're not already subscribed to Bells and Boxes, you should definitely go do that now and be sure to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our shows that come out during the week. You can catch me every Friday at 5 p.m. for the Power Tool Week in Review with Rob and every Saturday at 6 p.m. for our next episode of Make or Break. We'll see you then.